Hello everyone, this is our 1969 Chevrolet Camaro Z28 with 55,811 miles. Numbers matching, original paint, it has been restored, but the paint is still original. Uh, it was re-cleared, but that is it. It's in incredible condition. The silver with the stripes looks fantastic. The only blemishes that I've found on the front end have to be seen from a really specific angle, otherwise they disappear. I guess silver is kind of weird like that. But from right here, you can see all those tiny little scratches in the paint, or maybe in the clear coat, um, kind of hard to say. But if you look at it from a different angle, like the second you get over here, they just, they all disappear and it looks exactly like that in person as well. So you have to catch that in just the right light. Um, the paint is cracked a little bit over here, kind of the same deal. You really have to catch it in just the right light. Otherwise it kind of just disappears. So like right there, you can't really see it. And then if you get over, I oh, can't get it back now. There we go. Now once you get it like that, then it comes back. So the, uh, the little scratches on the hood, really difficult to see, but once you move, they disappear and it looks like they're not even there. But the chrome on the front, the grill, headlights, everything looks fantastic. This car is super, super clean. It looks really good. So the front end looks great in my opinion, uh, save for those little scratches, but even those aren't really a big deal because you have to be in the perfect circumstances to really catch those. The chrome emblems, the trim, and everything looks awesome. Front driver's side fender, as I mentioned, it's like a nine out of 10. It just has this tiny little weird ghost scratches. Um, front driver's side wheel looks really nice. Driver's side mirror, excellent shape. Driver's side door, a few marks on the inside of the door handle. But other than that, super clean. That area is all really nice. Driver's side rear quarter panel. Uh, the accent piece is here, a little bit of wear. Small mark there. Rear driver's side wheel. So clean, looks amazing. Not a single mark on it. Moving around to the back. Chrome back bumper piece looks perfect. No discoloration, pitting, or anything like that. Back end looks really nice. All the badging looks relatively new. Trunk lid looks great. Passenger side, rear quarter panel. Accent pieces are the same on the driver and the passenger side as far as the wear goes. Rear passenger wheel, no issues there. Passenger door, looks outstanding. And this silver just looks so nice. Um, with kind of a dramatic body line right here, you can see the contrast in the paint between uh, the light being on it and not, and also the really fine uh, kind of metallic flake to it looks really good as well. A little bit of marking here on the inside of the door. Leading up to the fender. The rest of the fender looks outstanding though. Looks really nice. And the front passenger wheel, just like the other three, looks really good i'll go ahead and walk around the vehicle from a one foot distance to give you a better big picture idea of the overall condition of the vehicle here at exotic motorsports we like to do these comprehensive walk around videos to give our out-of-state buyers the confidence and peace of mind they need to purchase a vehicle from us sight unseen if they choose to do so walking around a vehicle from a one foot distance is a lot more indicative of what you might notice on a day-to-day -day basis and helps to separate the larger, more obvious flaws from these smaller, less significant ones, helping to give you a more accurate representation of the overall condition of the vehicle. Hopefully I've done that today, showcasing this gorgeous Z28. 
really, really nice car. And of course, um, numbers matching, true to uh, true to its original form restoration. Nothing's been, you know, modified or anything crazy to kind of bring it out of that time period. Super nice car, driver's side door panel. Looks great. Seats, the upholstery, all looks very nice. I'll fold this seat down. There we go. And there are two pretty important books back there. Before I start the vehicle up, actually, I'd like to go over those with you. Because not every car has this. And I do think it was very nice of the owner to kind of put these together for whoever's going to own the vehicle next to kind of carry on the legacy of this car. So, this book here is kind of a, an information uh, binder, certificates, the original owner's manual, a little spec sheet highlighting all of the uh, the features of the car, what makes it special. The overall like comprehensive history of the car, which is pretty amazing. Um, comprehensive history of ownership. Then we've got other scanned documents in here. personal sentiment of uh, why the vehicle was purchased and of course all of this um, you can see on the sales listing not not every page but I feel like some of the more important ones like these uh, OE diagrams you know you could probably google these yourself um, but that binder does have a pretty comprehensive uh, collection of information from past owners and information about the car etc and from the restoration, we have this book here that goes over all of the different photos from the process of the restoration. I'm not gonna go over every photo, but you know, I'll kind of skip around and show you, you know, um, rotors being replaced, suspension components, what the car looked like before, everything coming out. And I mean, there's there's a lot of content here. There's a lot showing all the part numbers, serial numbers, what have you. So a pretty comprehensive book about the restoration of the vehicle. Pretty awesome that this has been documented and put into a really nice leather bound book, binder, whatever you want to call it. I think uh, for a car of this caliber, documentation is not only courteous, but important for the car's value. So, hopping in the car here. It is not push to start, as you would imagine. Starts up that quick. And it's not even that warm, honestly. It's been sitting for a while. Uh, temp gauge is showing not hot starts up that well the uh, the tack works and man does that exhaust sound so good go ahead and crack the window here for you it's not a true cold cold start like I said it had been running previously so I'm not not just rev bombing it while it's you know been sitting outside for a while it just hasn't been up to operating temp so uh, you can see all the gauges work the fuel charging all of that stuff tag all of that works and now for the part I'm sure everybody's been waiting for other than the startup go ahead and pop the latch here and bring this up here it is 302 
looks gorgeous after it's been uh, redone. Looks really nice. Still has the uh, factory manifolds on there. They didn't even put headers on it or anything. Front's all been painted there. Idles super smooth. Drives great. Goes through all the gears without any issue. Super clean car. It's absolutely ready to be enjoyed. There's no, oh, it just needs this, it just needs that. No, like you could buy this and you could enjoy it the way that it's meant to be currently how it sits. This is a turnkey ready to go. Classic car with no issues. That's just, it's in phenomenal shape. Runs and drives amazing. It guaranteed will turn heads wherever you go because uh, it's, it's not easy finding a Z28 in its original state, numbers matching this clean. So this has been our 1969 Chevrolet Camaro Z28. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us. Check out this listing on our website at exoticmotorsportsok.com. Thank you for watching.